Let's take a look at a few tools here I've shown in the past, Crocodile Hunter, LTE, Cell Search, and then uh, we'll look at some of the examples that are given with SRS LTE. Um, this time we'll use the Blade RF XA9, should work just as fine, uh, just as equally um, as well on the XA4. And then uh, the second half we'll look at a lot of the same tools, uh, minus Crocodile Hunter with the Hack RF. So to do this, I've got a B205 Mini plugged in, which will act as the ENB. Uh, so we'll just do this kind of all in-house uh, lab environment here. And then the Blade RF XA9 will be the uh, what will do the uh, survey, I guess you'd say. So come up here, we'll start our EPC. And then in another window, we'll start up our ENB, and that'll load up our B205 Mini. And we can see the frequency is uh, 2680 on the downlink, and I had already uh, figured that out as far as the Earthson here, 3350, and then we're in the band of 7. So if we go to our user search SRS LTE release 20 dot or 20 yeah 2010 one being the latest and in the build lib examples I've left the uh, uh, what was built here and we'll use the cell search uh, just like I have the example up above just do cell search if you do a dash H you can see what's required. Here, at least we need uh, the band, which would be 7. And I'm going to do a start at the 3350 Ursin, and I'll just throw a little higher number in there to let it go through and find our EMB here in the cells. And this is actually using the UHD SOAPY device, but um, the Blade RF is what's actually being used here. So it should go through. I just did verbose. Uh, you don't have to do that. It, it won't spit out as much information. And then at the end here, we should see that it's found the cells here. So we found two cells, Ursin 3350 and 3352. And so you could run this, uh, you know, I'm just doing it against this one here, but you could do a much larger run of this and uh, of course get back many many more results all right so that was one tool there uh, just the example cell search so if we change into our user source crocodile hunter there's also a icon here under other it'll get you there as well where you need to be and in here if you have a look at the uh, so because it's sitting in the user source if you want to edit anything you have to do sudo if we look at the config.ini.example this is what it's going to start out as so don't change the mysql path um, or the username and password that's already set if you weren't uh, using gpsd you could set your GPS location of where you're at here. You'd put your wiggle um, key and name here that you can get create created on the uh, wiggle site and then the uh, open cell ID as well. Uh, you could uh, use these um, expected MNCs, MN MCCs if you'd like and then it gives you kind of um, some examples here of how this would be filled out. Uh, GPSD, I don't touch. Project specific settings. This is uh, the project name in this case. Examples, and then you need at least at least Ursins if you're not using Wiggle. So what I did was uh, in the config.ini that it's using, I I ran Crocodile Hunter. Matter of fact, uh, one time. Um, just to kind of get me started if you've 
if you've configured everything, you wouldn't need to do this, but I just ran Crocodile Hunter one time um, with, you know, with default settings. It comes back, it's going to warn you, hey, if you want to run this uh, without Wiggle, you need a list of versions. So, so then I went in here, and uh, because I'm not concerned about Wiggle or Open Cell ID or, or even GPSD for this uh, demo here, I just went down. And because I didn't specify a project name, when I ran the Crocodile Hunter one time, it entered an entry here called default. And then uh, under it, there was nothing listed. So it's important. In this case, I typed this Ursins in equals, and then I used the 3350 that we know is running uh, on the left here, my ENB, using SRS LTE as well. So I save that. I come back and uh, actually there's one other important thing that uh, I just realized. So in the user source directory there's the uh, SRS LTE directory and this is uh, what I did. Uh, because Dragon OS has the drivers, I guess you'd say, for both UHD and Blade RF. If I don't make this change, um, when I try to use the Blade RF, it gets wrapped up with the UHD uh, SOPI drivers, and I found that that doesn't really work well. So if you come in here, uh, this is a uh, live run of Dragon OS. Uh, so if you've just installed it, if you come in here and you remove the uh, build directory and you can edit the cmake list.txt file and you come down just a little bit here and you'll find that right about here in the default build both enable UHD and enable blade RF will be on so I just um, turned off the UHD and left the blade RF on. That way when we make our build directory we do sudo cmake. This way it's going to set it up to use just the blade RF drivers. <clears throat> and then we'll run sudo make and in this case I think I have four cores sometimes takes a little while we'll come back all right we're back that's built we'll come back to our source directory here and again the importance of this is that I'm using the blade RF XA9 and um, I've just found that this works better for the blade RF so Again, we'll take a look at what's required for Crocodile Hunter here. And the way we will run this, because of the way we have things set up, I will leave the project name, I'll leave that alone. I'll just do a little debug so we can see what's going on. I'll disable GPS because there is no GPS here. And we'll disable Wiggle. If you wanted to use uh, GPS with this, it's important that you set your GPSD file. You would specify um, the device. Actually, you could even comment the top two um, uh, devices in GPSD options because I put the Crocodile Hunter example in here. And if you uncommented all of these, uh, as well as make sure that your USB GPS device actually does come up as dev TTY USB 0. You could use uh, those settings there and then you could do uh, sudo systemctl You could uh, enable the GPSD service. And then 
and just make sure uh, that it started and you could open up CGPS or XGPS and you would make sure that your device is seen and that you have a uh, fix on your location. Then we come back over here and then you could run it with uh, GPS. Also you could hard code your GPS location in there so that when we open up the map uh, your uh, map would be centered on your location and you would be finding the um, cells that are in the base stations around you. Of course if you factor in uh, wiggle and open cell ID then it's going to provide you uh, more information uh, and comparing to uh, open source databases uh, so that you could really use this tool the way it's uh, designed. But for this example we're just going to show that it works with the Blade RF XA9 so it's starting up We'll open this link in the terminal here, close it for a second. You can kind of see what's going on, the decoding's happening. Um, it'll find our cell here, or the tower, which is, uh, of course, what we're running here over on the left, our own tower. So, but you can see it runs really well, uh, or this is what I've found anyways, compared to letting the UHD SOAPY take over the Blader F. Usually uh, it fails uh, pretty quickly. Uh, but this seems really, uh, really good running it this way. And then if you let that run, and you open up the Crocodile Hunter in a browser. Of course, there's no GPS location saved, so we're in the middle of uh, the Gulf of whatever that is here. And you can see it's found this one, you know, B, you click on it, you can get some more information about it, which is uh, just our, uh, of course, fake uh, base station we're running here. You can see the Ursins, how many times it's found it, strength levels, and so on and so forth. Uh, but if you run this, uh, of course, with uh, the wiggle feeding in or all the Ursins in your area, then it's going to become a, a, a better tool to use, obviously and then uh, factor in GPS and being able to uh, drive around would be uh, even even more information obviously so alright so that's a quick little look at uh, Crocodile Hunter we'll stop that and last uh, let's do a search here look up Dragon OS Focal we'll come to the Source Forge page this I can't remember. Let's see. All right. Uh, so I I hadn't actually checked this before making the video, but if we um, look at the Google Drive folder where um, I share the ISOs, I just put a LTE scanner for the Blade XA4 there. And I'm going to download this. Take a look at my downloads. Unzip the LTE scanning tool. And this is just one I fixed up for the Blade RF XA9. Oh, actually the XA4, but it should be should be the same here. Let's try this out. And I'm not going to install this, of course. It's just unzipped. I've already built it based around a Dragon OS Focal. So we're just going to run it uh, from the directory that I'm in with a start frequency of 2680 and I believe I believe the M let's see
all right so we see I know that was really uh, fast there but uh, now we see the tool or at least the one I had uh, downloaded after uh, doing some modifications to it works with the Blade RF um, both the XA4 and the XA9 uh, you can see here it opened up it examined the center frequency and we oops, we found our cell there so of course you can widen that um, put it uh, a much larger start and end and uh, find more cells once you find that cell then we can do the LTE tracker again let me take a look uh, frequencies so should be uh, 2680 E6 and we'll just try this here like I have to come back to this I need to edit the uh, LTE tracker um, similar to the cell tool uh, so that we can run the uh, LTE tracker <laughs> all right well I'll get that uh, tool updated uh, hopefully and what you should be able to do which I, I'll demo later with the hacker app you should be able to run this LTE tracker and then kind of uh, focus on that specific cell and you'll get a GUI that'll pop up and you'll see the health uh, of the cell and some other information so all right so kind of recap that was the Blade RF XA9 that's at least three different uh, LTE cell uh, tools there that are built into Dragon OS whether it be the SRS LTE uh, cell uh, search example, uh, Crocodile Hunter, or the LTE cell scanner uh, tool here that we just used. Alright, and we'll come back and we'll uh, do something very similar with the HackRef.